Greetings and welcome to the broadcast. I'm your host. Look at these. We're going to be testing some $1,000 precision eyewear. Now, when they deliver these things to you, they don't just hand them to you. They come in a metal vault like this. You have to open up. Let me get a key, see what we've got in here. And this is going to be a fun YouTube for us to make. Uh, oh, boy, I can see right now there's going to be some assembly required. Now, i tell you what, folks. Let me go on with the show how they're made. All assemblies in the background. And no, it's too much to do all at once. Let's just go ahead and start talking about these things. And they'll be assembled before you know it. I'll have them put together. And we'll give them a little test. Now, the Zeiss company, or Carl Zeiss, is really big in precision optics. And this is way beyond, I found out, a two or $300 pair of Oakleys. These aren't even polycarbonate material. These things are sometimes called by Olympians an unfair advantage. See that little uh, round kind of a red deal she's got there like a target. We'll get a little closer to that in a minute. By splitting different color beams, if you will, splitting different things out of the color, they're able to make it actually sharper than regular vision. And of course, if you can't use a telescope, you can use these things. That might be said to be an unfair advantage. Who knows? Now, I've almost got these. Here's how I'm putting the glasses together in the background. The paddles have a special snap here. These things are made of titanium, carbon graphite. You can feel the quality of the back. These fins kind of go around the back of your head so they can be positioned just perfectly. And uh, there's a lot to learn here, So I'm, and I'm learning it. I'll have them assembled in no time. We'll look at them. Who would buy these? Well, here's a guy that would. Lots of Olympians and gold men and medal winners. These three girls have all won uh, Olympic medals. They use these glasses. They say it's an advantage to see more clearly. Young, old, all, all kinds of different sports do this. Now, his next guy coming up, he probably would spend a million dollars for a horse. This is a true Olympic gold medal winner here. He wears these sunglasses when he's jumping this horse. Let's hear what he has to say. Here's Will Simpson, Olympic gold medalist. Hi, it's Will Simpson, Olympic gold medalist equestrian. I ride with P-less sunglasses for extra clarity and definition. Another uh, medal winner multiple medal winners. Now, Zeiss has a lot to do with real, real uh, safety, heavy safety needs. They're firing this pellet into this thing, eye portion. It does great. Uh, and so a lot of these guys are involved in, in firearms, shooting sports, great. Uh, young and old light. Now, when they get older, sometimes they find they see better with certain colors, more defined. And this company is called Pila, allows them to order a prescription built in. They have a little deal that rides on the nose piece. I'll show you how that works here. They can put that right in, right there like that. You know, for a thousand bucks, you're going to get the glasses the way you want them. Would these make some great readers? I'll tell you they are. I, I only get to keep these for a short time after return them, but boy, there's some nice lenses here. Now, this is a vent system they use. Now, if you're traveling a lot, some countries may not want you to have that metal box. So you can order this very special box of wax. It's, I guess it's easier to x-ray. I don't know. Call it, and uh, like that there. Now, that doesn't do it. So you're going to go to Dubai or somewhere, and you make sure that this is not pigskin. You get this thing like this; it just rolls your glasses up in just leather. So there's a lot, a lot to learn when you get a, a pair of glasses like this here, and you're going to travel internationally. Well, as we get ready to look at the different things that are being used, law enforcement is starting to get involved in this stuff. Now, you know some current reports. I don't want to take sides. Let's hope. You know, they shoot the right person, but they're finding about about these technologies. How does Zeiss Company do it? Well, some of their stuff is patented, but one way is they take these special pigments you see here. These pigments go in all the way through the glass just the way they want them to go. And then a little bit will show you a graph of how different spectrums of this light can be isolated and come into your eye and, and eliminate things that are fuzzy out there. I just got done giving these things a test at a high-speed ride, and they did a great, great job. Here you can see the graph, how it works a little bit. Well, with all this money being spent, uh, there's going to be trade-offs, of course. So you have to ask yourself, what color would I get? Well, three colors are about all that most people get. But the nose bridge adjustment is come to be found out to be very, very crucial. So on some of these, you can order with a little nose bridge adjustment like this. Some people's face, you know, they're not anatomically correct. Maybe they'll let them adjust it just right. And you can find out about this. Now, folks, there's a, a t nasty little thing called a Perino pin. And a lot of people have trouble with the Perino pin. It's in the glasses. We're going to get one of the hot shots from the Pila factory to come out here. And we're going to just actually, we cut this off of YouTube. Let him describe how you hook these things on. I'm having trouble myself getting these glasses assembled. Well, I don't want to scratch them. I mean, you know, they're only here for to loan for us to review. So let's, let's let him talk and see what you think. The right 
or correct temple on either side of the lens. Again, slide it into the Perinot pin, apply a slight amount of pressure, and snap it into place. Obviously on both sides. Just easily clip off. What we've done is we've created a very wide fulcrum here that makes it easy to snap the temples on and off the frame, and they literally just clip right back in. So it's extremely easy to change the lenses. Clipping on and off. Right back on, no issue. Literally, in a half a second, you've changed the light transmission and the technology with this particular All frame. All right, I've got everything taken apart. I got them together okay, but I want to show you the lens by itself. It's super light, lighter than polycarbonate, and it's almost like a jewel, like a diamond. The way it grabs the light, just normal household light through a window, it's really, really something. Now, counterfeiters beware. The, these things, you can see, these are made in Italy, so you're not in China. And also, Carl Zeiss has hidden, I'm going to show you right here, between the Perrineau pin and the nose piece. See the end of that pencil? Let me blow that up for you a little bit. That's a very special Carl Zeiss logo that's scratched in very, very faint for you to see. That's the ones that are not counterfeited. Also, the real ones come in a little special microfiber sack. They have a ventilated poly bag, not just a poly bag, got the ventilation in it. And then the outside, the actual uh, numerical designation will be also in the bag. Hey, let's look at the Bible for a minute. Genesis is an old, old book. And here we talk here about somebody whose eyes are dim, got dim eyes. A little later on, there's another guy who's 98 years old, dim eyes. If you were an older person, could these possibly be, if you were going to read, for instance? Well, elsewhere in here, we have done a YouTube on melatonin uptake inhibitor technology. Here's how it works. Here's a little Kindle reader. You can turn these Kindle readers now to control the amount of melatonin uptake inhibitor, you, your body and the melatonin and the uh, serotonin and secretions. What if you were to take some of the wisdom of the ancients, apparently, and these classes and combine the two and read for a couple hours and try to get it right. Could you actually read even better than normal? Well, I'm going to do it. I'm going to, and, and I'm going to kind of fast forward here. I'm going to give you the answer right now. The answer seems to be yes. If you get this thing just right and get everything going where it's not too much light, not too little, it seems to be much less eye strain for sure, more perceived clarity. Look at the center of this thing here. Maybe... Maybe not on that one. Let's take a regular Bible. Let's just get, get rid of this electronic digital version. Now, here's a real Bible, red letter version. You can see the, the words of Jesus Christ in red. That's the first. Now, your eye adjust and put the next lens on after I adjust. I would say the center of that is a little bit sharper for me. It really does a great job. Well, folks, thanks for stopping by. I always appreciate you coming by. These guys with these airplanes are using these now. Let's let a member of the uh, company, uh, these Pila Sports Glasses Company, go ahead and take us out and give us a quick sales pitch now. Experience for a shooter. The Outlaw X is a high performance piece of visual equipment that will surely enhance your shooting performance. Well, that's it, folks. I'm not ashamed to admit I learned something making this one about these optics, these precision optics, and these Olympians, and how we can utilize that technology ourselves if, if we can just afford it. Well, take care. Lord bless. Uh, don't forget to read that Bible cover to cover. You can do it with a digital uh, device very easily nowadays. Hey, here's a Bible message right now, in fact.